Hello and welcome to the recruitment video for the P. Luna Foundation's Virtual Volunteer Program. Year-round, the Foundation needs energetic and motivated volunteers that want to help in the fight against the devastating effects of abuse and exploitation. This is a great volunteer job for abuse victims or survivors so they can get involved in their own cause, supplement their therapy by doing something good for their cause, helping others, and being part of a community of other people who have went through what you went through. Um, Anti-abuse advocates, students who need school credit, the unemployed who need to fill a gap in their resume with an extracurricular volunteer job, um, the retired and disabled who need a vibrant activity to keep them engaged and involved in helping others, and uh, what does a virtual volunteer do? They run interactive social media accounts or blogs for the charity. And you need minimal computer skills. You need to be able to run a Facebook page or even you know, a MySpace page or something like that so you have some grip on social media. And we put you in a site that you're not familiar with, we can train you to. But we want you to be somewhere you're going to enjoy. Uh, we want you to use your individual interests and strengths and utilize your talents and skills so you'll be a happy volunteer and you'll feel fulfilled in the work you're doing. So you're probably thinking, what do I need to post, repost, or talk about on your site? The topics would be education and awareness about the fight against cruelty abuse. Things like news stories, images, videos, and conversations about things like domestic violence, animal abuse, sexual abuse, rape, assault on men, women, and children, child abuse and exploitation, bullying, etc. The P. Luna Foundation, what we do is we keep the conversation about abuse in the forefront of the online community. So, basically that is the premise of what you're going to be doing. On your site you can pursue your own anti-abuse interests from January to September. But in September, the entire organization prepares for and promotes our most well-known and prominent program, which is Male Abuse Awareness Week. That runs every December 1st through 8th. What Male Abuse Awareness Week is, is a week where we shine a light on men that have been abused as children and how these young, tormented men should get into therapy. And we're met, you know, we have older men who have been through it, who talk to them and inspire them into therapy so that they don't go down the wrong paths in life. They don't end up doing the wrong things in life from all that anger that they're not getting therapy about and they're not talking about. So that's what Male Abuse Awareness Week is about. That is our main program. So um, again, the object of your volunteer work will be to keep people talking about abuse awareness prevention education. And real quick, I'm going to show you one of our own, our current volunteers pages on Tumblr. Um, can you see this all right? Okay. So her page is called Male Abuse Awareness. And all year long she posts things about ending violence against everyone. Let's see. Motivational things. Images about child abuse. Um, this, this particular volunteer is very into animal abuse. So... She's posting a lot of things about animals all year long. And you know, you want motivational things and, and you also want to post links to blogs and, and news stories and things. But this is a very visual site. So whatever kind of site you're in, make sure you're happy and you're, you enjoy doing what it is that's, um, what it is that's uh, part of your site's agenda. Okay. So, to become a volunteer, you want to go to helpforguys.org, that's H-E-L-P, the number four, guys.org, and fill out the contact page, or you can email us at the, T-H-E, P-L-U-N-A, P -L -U -N -A, foundation, at gmail.com. Let us know you want to be a volunteer. The next thing you do is you go through an orientation process, which is a series of emails that go back and forth. Then you have a handbook you read, and then you have a simple volunteer policy that you sign. Um, 
The reason for this, we want to make absolutely sure that you can read and follow instructions accurately and competently. Because, I mean, I will speak to you if you need to, and I will help you in any way you can. But you really want to be able to read instructions and, and execute them. So after orientation, we will place you into one of our websites that we control the account to. Uh, you go through a trial period to make sure that you're acting professionally and properly and following the program. Your uh, volunteer work will be evaluated twice a year to make sure you're active and engaged. We want people who are really interested in doing this. We don't want your posts to sit there and get at least over two weeks old. We don't want posts to be over two weeks old. We want you to be interested and engaged. So pick out something you really like to do and stay engaged in it. If you have to quit or take a leave of absence for a while, just let us know. Nobody's going to get mad at you. Just don't leave your site abandoned. We don't like that. Um, and, you know, after some time, if you've been with us for a while and you really want to exercise some of your own talents and skills, you become you can become a professional volunteer employee. That means you sign a series of policies for everyone's protection, and then you have a lot more freedom to do things uh, that you want. Um, in closing, just a few credentials. The P. Luna Foundation was founded in 2008. We are a registered 501c3 nonprofit corporation with a focus on education. So for more information on what we do, you can go to help4guys.org or plunafoundation.org, P-L-U-N-A foundation.org. Again, to become a volunteer, just hit us on the contact page on one of those websites, or you can email us at the P. Luna Foundation with the, with the, the T-H-E in the beginning, at gmail.com, and let us know you want to be a volunteer. So we're really hoping to get a lot more volunteers at this point. Thank you so much for listening, and we hope to hear from you soon. Thank you.